Welcome to Statistics in Excel video number 73. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Business 210, Chapter 6. If you're in the class, go to our Chapter 6 website. Hey, we've got to talk about the exponential distribution, a continuous random variable. Now, I'm going to start by going over to my uh, PowerPoints here. Uh, this is useful in computing probabilities for the time it takes to complete a task, like waiting in line, or distance between similar occurrences. So examples, time between arrivals at a car wash, time to take a test, distance between potholes in the road. Now our functions, we're actually going to have two of them, a density and a cumulative. Here's our density. Again, we've been talking about a lot about the density functions in this chapter. They will determine the height, but not uh, the probability. Here's the cumulative probability function right here. There's the one for density. Here's the one for um, the cumulative prob probabilities. If we go over to Excel and look at our example. Remember, the exponential distribution is good for waiting time. For a particular Disney ride, the mean time to wait in line is 22 minutes. Distribution follows the exponential distribution pattern. We want to calculate what is the probability that we stand in line for less than or equal to 15 minutes. Here's the plot of this with a mean of 22. So 22 is like in here somewhere. So less than or equal to 15 would be somewhere here. It would be all that area. Now we're going to start off, we'll do our function um, or our formula and then we'll do our function over in our PDFs. Um, I think it's up here. No, 1917 right there. There it is. That one right there, 1 minus e and then we um, whatever the particular x is, negative x divided by our mu. All right equals 1 minus. And how do we get e? We saw this before. The x, x, exp function will do it. That's exponent base e. We just put a 1 in here and it will spit out our e. If you don't believe it, highlight it and hit the F9 key, which is evaluate. Now don't hard code that in so you control z. That was just to, to show you that that actually does work. Caret, and in parentheses, remember it's particular x negative of that divided by mu, so we'll go minus particular x divided by and our uh, mu. Now we had to put this in parentheses because if we did the exponent and then the negative and the division, it would do um, the division first before it got to the exponent. And we want all this done before it gets to the exponent. So there it is. The probability is almost 50%. Wow. Now let's do our x expondist expondist function. It wants a particular x. That's our 15. Remember, it's always cumulative from the smallest to wherever the x is. Comma and lambda is 1 divided by mu. So 1 divided by our mu right here. Comma 1. Close parentheses. And that will calculate the probability of less than uh, less than equal to 15, 49. Again, almost 0.5. Now, what about above? Probability of standing in line greater than or equal to 25. Well, since it's on the upper end, we have to do our 1 minus trick. And we want our x. That's 25. Our lambda, 1 divided by our mu, comma 1. And that formula will work for the upper end. Now, how do we calculate between two? Same way as before. Whatever the bigger one is, subtract then from it the smaller one. So ready? The bigger one is equals exponent our 25, comma, our lambda 1 divided by our mu, comma 1 for cumulative, minus and again, oh, here's the small one. Always the bigger one minus the smaller one, comma lambda 1 divided by 22, comma 1, close parentheses. And there you have it. That's calculating probabilities for the exponential distribution. Now, there's an interesting relationship between the Poisson and the exponential distribution. Let's click on this sheet right here. 
relationship. Oh, hey, the Poisson is the number of occurrences during an interval. Exponential is the length between occurrences. And watch this. If a, the occurrence follows a Poisson distribution, the length between occurrences must follow an exponential uh, distribution. So let's look at an example here. I think I have the full description over here. According to a recent study, business people are interrupted 5.5 times per hour. Oh, that's terrible. How would I ever shoot these, these videos, some of them a half an hour, if I'm already always getting interrupted? Assume that the distribution follows an exponential distribution. Now I'm going to come over here. So the, what that means is the mean for the Poisson number of interruptions is 5.5 per one hour, or 60 minutes. Can we from that calculate, since they're related, can we calculate the mean for the exponential distribution? Well, sure. It's 5.5 per one hour, so 1 divided by this will give us the time between intervals. So equals 1 hour divided by how many there are in an hour. If we wanted to do minutes, equals 60 minutes divided by our 5.5. So that's the mean for the exponential distribution. And we were given information about a Poisson distribution. Now let's see if we can calculate a probability uh, for our exponential. And then I want to see if we can calculate the same one with a Poisson. We want to calculate no interruptions during a 15 minute period. That means if we click over here, there's a chart, on, a picture on this one. So uh, up to 15, that's like right there somewhere. None in here. Well, the area in our exponential distribution, that's the time between being interrupted. So if we said none here, it means we'd have to get all the way to 15 with none. So we're, which means we want the, the area above 15. So we're going to have to do our 1 minus. So right here equals 1 minus <coughs> expone dist. Our x is our 15 minutes. Our lambda is 1 divided by, and this. Notice we chose to do it in minutes, so I'm going to select this one. If we had hours, then we do it, use that one. But 1 divided by that, comma, cumulative, and then Enter. So the probability of getting no interruptions during 15 minutes is 0.2528. Now I want to see if I can do the same thing with the Poisson distribution. Now remember, the Poisson distribution is number of interruptions. The exponential distribution is time between interruptions. So here, I have an x equal to, oh, 0 number of occurrences, meaning no interruptions. The time, we're going to have to shorten it up, because we need to, we had 15 minutes. Remember, we were originally given 5.5 for an hour. So we need something less than this for our 15 minute period. Time is easy. It equals 15 divided by 60. So it's going to be a quarter of an hour. And our mean, the number of currents per 15 minutes, is going to be, oh yeah, this 0.25 times our 5.5. That'll give us how many occurrences there are for 15 minutes. Now we can do Poisson equals Poisson. Our x is going to be 0 comma, our mean is this, that's the number of occurrences per, for our interval, comma, and then we want cumulative, so we put 1. And we get the same thing using Poisson and uh, exponential. All right, uh, exponential, number of occurrence, I'm sorry, Poisson, number of occurrences during the interval, exponential is the length between occurrences. So that's a little bit about on this one, uh, exponential and Poisson over on the Disney wait in and line, the exponential. And that's it for chapter six. We'll see you next chapter.